Yes, you're right, David, because the first thing that we've got is a budget request presentation followed by a complete IT budget spreadsheet. So let me go in and take a look and see when these are required and see if they even mesh at all with our individual assignments. Because that's the way it was presented during his presentation. But like you said, I was confused because they even had old postings from last uh, semester whenever I was trying to find information. So yeah, I, yeah. I saw that as well. It's it's we, we, you could read into all of the different messages he sent on Teams. Right. Uh, it's kind of weird. Well, it is kind of strange, and and that's going to be my job for you guys. I just got to get with the instructor one on one and say, okay, uh, can you please uh, translate for us because this yeah, is the way I'm reading this yeah. is. If you go to the assignments tab gotcha. within the class in Canvas, okay. you get all the dates that everything's due. And it looks like there's significant weekly reporting for each person. Yes. And then those will eventually go into the uh, rest of the group project. But then the group project also has its own individual components that we have to work on simultaneously. Okay. So yeah. change That's how I'm reading that. Yes. That's quite a bit of work. So um, yeah. I, I like your forward-leaning timeline that you had put down. Oh, sure. Uh, because sure. this this is going to be this is going to be a heck of a lot of work for all of us. Yes. Yeah, so I'm trying to find out. Yeah, because like you said, we've got our project plan week two, which is what I'm trying to assemble right now. That's got all the folks saying what portions they're going to cover, and then. So that is that is worth. And the way I'm reading this too in the assignments tab is that specific thing is worth 1% of our total overall grade. Yes, yes. Right, and so, and that's just the spreadsheet with who's doing what and timelines. Correct? Exactly, exactly. It's and, like the spreadsheet of who's doing what timelines. And I think on the first one, if you scroll down, David, it also has a section that shows when our recurring meetings are gonna be. I uh, right, posted right. one that said it was updated, so I just update it with Thursday recurring meetings, so. After right, today. and so it looks like each individual component of our grade is worth just a few points. So yes, there's a lot going on, but uh, none of it weighs particularly heavy, except uh, I guess these weekly reports, the first two of them are 10% of your total grade. So don't miss those. No, not going to do that for sure. Um, also, I'll, I'll get with the instructor as far as, like you said, we got to make sure that our deliverables for the... Um, for the group project is going to allow us enough time as it was stated in the presentation because I pulled a lot of the notes that I just posted uh, that very first page I pulled a lot of that out of just listening to his group project video and writing down what he was saying so trying to make sure that we've got everything captured as far as what we're required to do as a team but I do understand what you're saying as well I don't feel comfortable or confident uh, going in and saying okay we need to develop certain things for the team project that we haven't been able to peer review from each other on an individual assignment for to begin with. So I'll, I'll touch bases with him and see what he's looking at as far as how these things are going to mesh up. Because like you said, it looks like it's going to be somewhat involved, but uh, hopefully it will be doable. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's a lot of moving parts here and these weekly sync sessions with us are going to be absolutely crucial. We should, I think we should also strive to uh, have maybe updates within the discussion forums uh, on a weekly basis as well that are on a different day than our sync sessions. So oh. just that we're in more constant communication than just the weekly sync sessions on Thursday nights. Because oh, okay. I think there's, there's going to be that much uh, revolving parts here that we're going to have to keep track of. Oh, exactly. And I agree with you. I think that, you know, that's going to be essential. That's why I'm trying to keep as much information posted up there as much as possible. Ask you to please just check that uh, that Google Drive as well for yeah. us and see if there's anything. I appreciate all your work on this, by the way. This is, I do too. Uh, I do too. This, oh, is, this is going to be a rodeo that you're, uh, oh, you're yeah. orchestrating here. So I okay. appreciate that work. But no, guys. And, and, you know, like I said, for me, I know that the instructor says, oh, because you're the project lead, you can't do anything else. I love editing. Um, I love putting reports together. I don't mind providing that support or providing support anywhere else where it's needed as long as the team is is, is going to do well. So um, right now I'm just 
you know, I'm all about let's get it done. Um, I know you guys, uh, I really look forward to learning from all of you. Um, and I know it's going to be a good experience, though it's going to be a little stressful at first because, as you know, um, right now we're really not – this is about as clear as mud right now for all of us. So, so what I, I see the spreadsheet that is due. It's Project Plan 1 is due, uh, I guess, tomorrow. Yes. Um, and that looks pretty squared away. There's some empty stuff on it still. There but is. what is due next week? I, I don't know that I've seen that sheet. Oh, project is, plan two. Yeah, yeah, it's project plan two. Right. Where where is that? Do we have that posted anywhere? Yeah, it's in that. It's in the drive. Yes. And, so, and uh, I th- real and, quick. And, uh, hey. Um, yes. Robert, uh, I when I opened up project plan one and made my edits, it turned it into a Google Doc, and now there's two files. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, and this is crazy. I know when I went to Penn State, I always had to do this, and it's very frustrating. You'll probably have to download it to your computer, make the changes, delete what's on the drive, and then upload yours again. In other words, if you have Word on your uh, computer, you can download it as a Word document and then edit it. And then just as long as you don't change anything other than what the changes that you made, you can delete what's existing and then post it right back up. But even if that happens, don't worry about it because I can go in and I can take care of that on my end because I'm going to be the one that's going to be submitting the assignments. And trust me, I'll make sure that you guys get a chance to look at it. Um, it might be a little bit of a short fuse this week because it is due uh, very soon, but I'll make sure that I post something. And if you guys don't object, I don't mind submitting for the team. Yeah, absolutely. No problem with that. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, sure. So. Okay. And I know you, I liked you for another reason, just other than all the work you're doing here. So I, I'm a Penn Stater as well. Boom! Let's do this. <laughs> there you go, David. Awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of crazy. But I want to make sure that we've got that locked down. The one, number one thing for me was just the recurring meeting times. Um, I'm, I appreciate you guys coming out on a Saturday. I know that that's crazy, but uh, again, I think the Thursday is going to work great. It'll be early Friday for me, but no problem because we'll be able to clear that space on our weekends anyway. And as as you gentlemen have already stated, um, whatever we do throughout the week, certainly we'll be staying in touch on the discussion boards just to make sure that we are all on top of it. So, can I th- let me throw an idea out there? Oh, also. sure. sure. Um, as far as discussion boards, yes. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, uh-huh. um, they're they're pretty painful in Canvas. Yes. Um, you know, you got to scroll all the way down to the bottom every time you open one up. Right. Yeah. Um, I have you guys. Are you guys getting the impression from the Professor that um, he doesn't he doesn't necessarily care about how we do our intergroup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and trust me, I'm not tied to Canvas either. If we've got a better solution, I'm all down for that. So, well, so I've used I've used Slack in the last three classes and it's worked beautifully. Awesome. Okay. Love Slack. Oh, Uh, yes. Okay. okay. If if okay with you, I can set up a channel today and get us started on that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, do you know what? That's a David. That's a great idea because as many different threads there are to these projects that we can do threaded conversations. That I, I think that's a great idea. It is. Okay. And okay, uh, Musin, have you ever used Slack before? Yes. Yeah, I did. I did twice. Yeah. Uh, well, it, yeah. was, it was. It was. It was. It was was working perfectly for me so well well, i'll tell you what that's a great idea guys i think that'd be good because we can even set up different discussions within slack and we can even break them down to where it's for each assignment like you said if you need to collaborate among whoever's going to be working on whatever topics that's going to be a great way to do it as well so awesome um, yes that's awesome i I appreciate you doing that oh it's easy no problem all right cool cool all right so we got that knocked out. Let me make sure. Just one. Yeah. Again, the only thing we're going to have a short fuse on is um, I'm going to post this uh, presentation up online and make sure that the folks that haven't volunteered for anything yet, please do so. Um, again, like I said, I don't mind helping out wherever I can. Um, I love to do papers. I'm glad that uh, we've got some PowerPoint expertise in the house. Um, but I'm really good at, you know, just uh, slapping templates together for reports and things of that nature. So 
Also, will be taking care of a lot of the submissions for the team um, in doing whatever else I can to, to, to try to support you all. And I, I have made a note that I will be messaging the instructor and asking him specifically to give us a little bit more clarification as far as the direction with the with the uh, group project. Great. Hey, um, I'm on. <clears throat> man, my voice is all screwed up. That's why I'm going to get sick and sleep. I guess. But, uh, it's all good, man. I'm uh, I'm in the drive and I'm looking for Project Plan Two and I thought I had downloaded it but okay. um, it's in the trash. Should I restore that? I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if it's in the trash, yeah, you can go ahead and restore it, or you can just let me know, David. I can repost it. Not a problem. No, no, it, that's fine. So I, I put it back. I was just making okay. sure I wasn't. I yeah, remember it's really it, weird because I had just. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm in there as well, and I just looked at it and yeah. in the group project plans folder sure. there were just three documents and now there's one the oh. third one was a mistake that was okay so you turned it down okay yeah <laughs> turning it into a google doc yeah but okay. you're right uh, project plan two did d just disappear because it was just here yeah yeah so sorry about that but no and we'll make sure the other group members know and they'll know when they see this um just specifically for them to make sure that uh they understand that even if you get confused and you don't know how to convert it, just give me a quick shout. I don't mind going in there and just converting it over real quick and then reposting. It's not a big deal. Uh, but do, you know, do you know what? Someone just created a draft folder in there and it was dragged into the draft folder. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah, because I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed you up there. I was posting the most recent stuff and then I created a draft folder, but... I created yeah. that a while back. Yeah, so sorry about okay, that. Okay, so yeah, there is a copy in there too, just okay. in case. Cool. That okay. sounds good. So, uh, real quick question on the um, so I put my name on Project Plan One um, on two of those deals, but what I'm thinking to myself is, yes. um, you know, to your point, a lot of this stuff is cumulative over time, right? Yes. So now I'm now so when, if I look at Project Plan Two. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if you've if you're just throwing dates on there right now. I'm just yeah. Um, I'm just I'm just throwing dates out there, David. Okay. 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 Because yeah, because I'm just thinking to myself. Um, yes. They. I, I mean, I would imagine it's not going to be kind of waterfall this way. That it'll be a lot of things in parallel. But oh, I, I, I agree. And I just put something down there because I don't think it's going to be due until next week. But I'm going to shoot that yeah. draft to the instructor and say, "Are we on the right track? And how would I modify it?" Perfect. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So then, if, if we fill in one. Yes. You can just copy and paste over to two. Oh, exactly. So, and that's another confusing thing. And I think that's what happened with um, Karan is that he looked at two and filled that out instead of looking at one. So okay. uh, perhaps we should just give some, and I will give some clarification. That's a good point. Uh, make a post and ensure that people know just deal with the project one for now. And then we'll deal with project two later on down the road. Because like you said, I can cut and paste and we'll be good to go. Yeah, and I don't think it's it can't change necessarily, but that would be a point of clarification, Professor. Yes. Also, is like, hey, you know, I mean, yes. Yes. this is draft, or do we have to stick to it? Right, and I think that what it looks like is because he keeps looking for updates. I think that he's expecting um, targets to shift as far yeah. as due dates and things of that nature. Just because I see all of these group progress. Um, reports that he wants because when I look at this I'm looking back and let me cancel go back to assignments here I got group project plan week two group project plan week three um, let me see if he just backed them up so but yeah I don't think this is going to be anything that's written in stone yet gentlemen so um, as you said, we need, just need to get a little bit more clarification and we'll ensure that we have, uh, uh, we have the dates more accurate and more realistic in the future. Okay. okay. And, and then one final thing, and then I'll shut up for a while, is um, if, if we don't get people to participate on taking the lead on these empty ones, sign me up because we don't have time to you know, mess around. 
Okay, and, and, and but here's the good thing too, though, David, and it's funny you should say that. Even if we put you on there temporarily, the great thing is, is that we can always modify it later. You know what I mean? So yeah. you'll be the, you'll be the, you'll be the dummy. <laughs> you'll be our dummy. We, we, we'll just use it, fill it in, and then we'll just change it later when we need to. Because yeah. believe yeah. me, I play that role well. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Okay. And uh, again, what I will do then is once this meeting concludes, I know that I've got to send the draft project to, to the professor for real dates. Um, also want to get a lot more clarification for us so we're not all sitting around scratching our heads. I think that it is a great idea for the Slack. That's an amazing idea. That's going to be cool for all of us. It will make things so much easier because I've used it before and, and it works well. Uh, let me see what else we have. The group name, I had a corny name, guys, but uh, let me know what you think. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Uh, I know that, I don't know when he requires that, probably before our uh, RFP comes due because the group name and the group uh, symbol that we're supposed to create is supposed to go on to our RFP and then on our final project slide. So. Um, Something fairly minor, but I just want to make sure that we're on track to get that done. I thought yours was a good suggestion. You, you know, think third so? Third All right, sounds cool. Yeah, uh, third block from the fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if that, that one sounds worse. Doesn't it? It's totally, it's totally ridiculous, isn't it? Well, third rock from the sun was a great... Uh, or, or a funny television show I knew from a long time ago. But if you read that article that I sent you, it's really kind of cool because I guess in Harvard, and I'm kind of stupid like this, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, I'm going to Harvard. So let's check it out. But I think what they call blocks at Harvard is a group of people that come together to benefit from each other's knowledge. So that's why I was thinking instead of third rock doing the third block from, from the fun or something like that, because it kind of shows that, you know, I know I'm going to learn a lot from you guys. Uh, hopefully it'll be a beneficial experience, but uh, it's just kind of some of that silly Harvard kind of nostalgia stuff running around. So yeah, no, I like yeah, it. I yeah, like it. Cool. Yeah, it works for me. Cool. Awesome. So we can get that done and then we can go see who's got artistic talents to see if they can crank out a logo for us. <laughs> I might take that whack at it. Yeah, that's what Fiverr.com is for, right? You bet. Uh, Musine, what did you say? No, I, 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 I said I can do it. I can, I can take care of the logo. If, uh, awesome. That sounds great. Yeah. I appreciate you. That would yeah. be great. Trust me, man. A any help we can get, I appreciate you taking that on. So, yeah. cool. All right. We got an artist out there. Okay. All right, gentlemen, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Do you guys have anything for the short-term interim uh, before our first project deliverable? I'm going to work on that deliverable after we're done here. I'll get a draft out there for you to look at and uh, also see if I can ping the other group members and see if they can save David and pull him off of some of those tasks. Yeah, so other than I just want to make sure that I'm tracking on deliverables and anything that's due either to the professor or the group. It looks yes. like those, in the near term, those two project plans, next week's CRM report. Yes, um, yes. But in the next, I guess, between now and next week, that's all that's really due, right? Yes, David, that is correct. That's all that's due. Do we owe anything else to the group, though? I mean, I, I guess no. I'm trying to figure out uh, where do we see, is that what the group project two thing is, where mm -hmm. we see the... Yes, and, that, and that's next week. So I think they switched group project two to group project three because of the fact that it took so long to make groups. Group project one that you're looking, on, looking at right now that's posted, the professor changed that to group project two. And then the project two that you're looking at has been changed to project three. So when you look at the deliverables, okay. it kind of matches up that way. Okay. So, but the way I'm looking at this is that if you sign up for things higher up on the spreadsheet, they're due sooner. Yes, is that they, yes, that is correct. Okay. Okay. I, I hadn't uh, realized that before. I thought this I was believe. all meshing together at the same time. Hold on, David. But what do you got? Per, per your project plan two, yes. the concept presentation date is linear in order from top to bottom. 
That, it um, is. It is. And I think that's what David Gray was talking about earlier is the fact that we've got to see if that is going to be written in stone. I'm going to submit that. Uh, okay, good. Yes. No, I wasn't tracking yes, that. I am exactly. Now. Yes, okay. David. That actually works for my schedule better. I put myself on um, some of the ones more later October. Yes. Um, so okay. that, that does work with my personal schedule for me to get my deliverables in. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. But, but uh, to your point, though, right? I mean, I'm, the first one on the list is the group present or is a uh, presentation. Yes. And that's yeah. today's uh, yesterday's date for concept presentation date. Yeah. For the budget request presentation. Oh, okay. Let me look. Let me look here. Hold on. Yeah. Let me think about this for a second. Hold on. So, like I, I said, whoever, yeah, the, the, this whoever is, is signed up for the budget request presentation, uh, yes. that was due yesterday, according to this sheet. Well, yeah. So th I think the dates on here are dummy dates, right, Dave? Or I mean, Rob. yes, yes, they are, they yeah. are. But but let They're me look at this. Dates. Yeah, because so, yeah, because David Morgan. What I'm doing, sir, is I'm just going to submit that to him, and I'm going to say, hey, this is what we got as a draft. Does this look good, or do we need to modify it? Okay. Okay. Um, so please don't hold anyone yeah. to those. Yeah. Don't hold anyone to those dates and uh, we'll get some more clarification and get some, uh, some more realistic and uh, uh, accurate dates on that piece of paper for you. Okay. Cause great. So, and, so the yeah. point, the point of submitting it like this though yes. is to, for him to come back and say it, these dates don't really make sense. Exactly. To, to hopefully set me straight and say, okay, maybe that is a little bit too ambitious, especially like you said, uh, David G., if they look and say, okay, this really isn't realistic, maybe we need to adjust it because some things need to be done in parallel, hey, that's no yeah. problem. I'll say, look, I'm aggressive. Uh, perhaps that's a little too aggressive. Maybe we need to adjust. But you're right. Um, we don't have to submit anything to him. Also know that those dates that are listed are more like internal dates for team members to use. Right. So let me to my question about, so under the concept presentation date. Yes. Concept presentation, is that to the group or is that to the professor? Uh, that is to the group. Okay. And then the initial draft date, is that to the group or to the professor? All of it's to the group. Got it. Okay, but okay. so the final deliverable date is to the group then as well, because we're not actually doing and, this complete project deliverable until the end of the semester. Right? Exactly. So that's just Got for the group okay. to plan ahead. Yes. So when you say budget request present, so presentation is usually you know a combination of the findings and the summary of the findings, right? Yes. Of of everything else, which is why I was like, why is it first? Yes, exactly. Uh, but here's what I'm looking at, too, is because I'm looking at the deliverables, and it looks like we're hitting budgets, but we're not hitting budgets until October 4th. Yeah. And I'm trying to find out, okay, if budgets are October 4th, what else? Let me look at the spreadsheet. Is there anything on CRM? Because when I looked at that, He had another slideshow, and he showed CRM on one side, he showed the budget on the other side, and he said, these are the two points you need to hit on. So, well, this entire project is about the CRM, right? So yes, yes. Exactly. Perhaps all of this lead into the CRM project, that's all what this is. And, and I, I hadn't realized it until now, but you yes. made a point where budget request presentation may, yes. just because it's on the top of the spreadsheet, doesn't mean it's due first. Exactly. So, yeah, to me, it's due last in, yes. in the sense that it's going to be the last thing that we do. Now, I think if I if I don't I didn't look at it really very closely, but I'm assuming so yes. we'll have to break this assumption down. Oh, that sure. We do the budget request presentation, at the end, but then we will probably have a couple of days after that to turn in, you know, the all the heavy documentation. But I don't yes. know. Exactly. And if you look. The group three project case study uh, that I just posted, if you look underneath the group three group project case study deliverables, it says group three is required to provide a 30 minute PowerPoint presentation the last day of the course to gain approval of our budget request. So it looks like that's listed first, but it's what we're going to be doing at the very end for our project presentation. Yeah, it does seem like everything 
is flipped. Yeah. We'll dive into that. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we're still about as clear as mud, but hopefully we'll get some more clarification on it. And I, I, I owe that to you guys as the group is to get with the uh, professor and see, you know, what's in his mind for us to do. So. Okay. Right. And when you say submit, you just mean like you're going to email them and have a conversation? Uh, I'm going to just email them, uh, say, look, met with the group, had our first group uh, uh, yeah. meeting. Uh, not everyone participated, but here are the concerns that we have. And just list it out to him and say, look, Professor, we're looking at this uh, spreadsheet. Um, here's my best guess at dates. I know I'm probably off base. Can you let us know how these really match up to what we're doing? Because uh, for me, the thing that I took away from his group uh, slides was that we were going to be using the best of our ind individual report submissions after we get our grade. Then we do the peer review on it, and we're supposed to take the best of what we've got to incorporate it into the group project. So, yeah, that's how I heard it also. Yes. yes. Uh, but I just want to make sure when you said submit, because submit is actually oh, a key. I'm sorry. Uh, thing yes. That you do no. when you turn in a, an assignment. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. The only thing I'm going to be submitting anytime soon, <laughs> David yeah, yeah, G, yeah. is going to be <laughs> is going to be a paper with your name on every single task. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> No, it's just going to. <laughs> no, it's just going to be. No, I'm sorry, guys. You're right. I misspoke. I will be. It's okay. I will be conversing with the professor, not submitting. All right. I'm all good. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. <laughs> By the way, you know the shortest distance between two people is laughter, so I really appreciate that about this group. You better believe it, man. <laughs> it's going to be all good. <laughs> yeah. All right, gentlemen. Um, hey, uh, real quick, Robert, one question about, yes. uh, I, I just want to be able to set our mind frame straight. Sure. We have how many people, including the four of us in this group? We have, where's my breakout? Because I've got them here. We've got seven. Okay. And then the other three people that aren't here today, um, just give us a kind of indication. Have you heard from them? Have they been responsive? Did they tell you that they wouldn't be here this morning? Uh, they have, kind of want to gauge how much extra work the four of us are going to have if these three end up dropping the course. <laughs> um, I can tell you this. Jennifer has replied and stated that night times work best for her because she's not yeah. going to be available Saturday mornings. Um, Karan stated that the only time he would – Karan was the one that said, can we do it during the week? And then um, I believe David chimed in and said, I've been down this road before. We all overlapped. And the times that we most overlapped was Thursday nights. So, yeah, and Jen, by the way, Jen was the first to respond. So yes, I think great yes, engage. Yes. He's just not available this morning. Yes. And I think Karan, the reason he's not in this meeting right now is he's Mountain Standard Time, which means – it's six or seven o'clock in the morning his time, and Quran is the one that said he couldn't do it mornings anyway. He'd have to do it evenings. So, but yeah. But at least they're responsive. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, and they yeah. are. Yeah, and, and Andre Alameda, he's he's also very responsive. So I think we're going to be okay. So we have a, a group of responsive people that makes things much better. Exactly. Like have been in groups before, kind of that just fizzled, and you end up doing twice the work that you expected. David, you're. You went to Penn State, didn't you? I, I did. Welcome to my hell. I mean, my world. That's exactly what it is. It's um, hoping that you can get some folks that are going to be more engaged. Um, I hope that since we are going to school at the uh, uh, Harvard Extension School, that people will be a little bit more responsive. Mm -hmm. But I understand your concern. But I think we're going to be okay this term. I think we're going to be Sounds fine. Sounds great. All right. Yeah, I agree. I get that feeling already, so. Oh, yeah, for real, guys. I think we're going to be all set. And like I said, I've been recording this um, using my Capto recording, and I will post it online here shortly for everyone else to gain the benefit of our conversation. Um, I appreciate your time, and I just want to make sure, because I don't want to cut into your weekend obtrusively, so is there anything else we need to cover before I sign off and try to get a little bit more clarification for us. Um, so uh, when yes. I set up the Slack channel, yes. um, 
I guess everybody's email address is on Canvas, so. Um, yeah. It is, but what I will do too, though, David, is I've got your personal email because you sent it to me to get you onto the Google Drive. I will send you a copy of the listing of every group member's uh, Gmail so that you can uh, add them, okay? There you go. Perfect. All right. All right. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Okay, gmail.com. Okay, from David. David, what's the part, first part of gmail.com? I'm sorry. Let me see. I see it in chat. And no, it was right above it. I just had David.morgan2. No, you're good. Yep. All right. Got it. Okay, guys. Two at gmail. So Project Plan 1 is due tomorrow. Project Plan 2 is due, what, Thursday or the 20th? Um, yes, and I will make sure that we have more clarification on uh, on dates before we pull the trigger on that one. But the great thing is, once Group Project Plan 1 is done, I think Plan 2 will fall into place fairly easily. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like uh, it's, it's usually midnight of that night, or 11.59 p.m. Thursday is when it's due. We're going to have our meeting right before that's due. So yes. Yeah. Yes. if needed, we can always have last-minute discussions at this coming week's Oh, uh, sure. Oh, sure. Agreed. Sure. And the one thing I like about Slack, too, is you can, you know, knock out a Slack call as well if you need to, you know, so. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on Slack. My, uh, the company I work for, we use Slack all day, every day for internal communications. So awesome. I, I will be on Slack all day, every day. Okay. And we'll get notifications popped up. So that's, that's a great platform for me. Yeah, that's the main thing is getting notified. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out the phone. David, I'm going to email you some addresses, okay, for Slack. Yep. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create our uh, draft team review copy for group project uh, two that was group project one but has been changed to group project two. Um, and I'll get rid of all the drafts, put them in the draft folder, and post the most updated one for everyone to look at. Um, then I will post this video to our discussion forum uh, before we bail on it and go to Slack, hopefully in the near future. And then um, other than that, I will ensure that I send the draft project three, which was draft project two, to the professor and we'll open up a dialogue regarding uh, how best to, to, to schedule the team deliverables. Excellent. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.